I just get the feeling though that Thomas Randall's got a little bit up his sleeve, just keeping keeping the rear hand cooks nice and steady. Certainly thinks that the car is really in the zone this weekend, and clearly he's in the zone as well. So let's see if, if he decides to lift this time round and find a couple of tenths, because that gap's down to 1.4 seconds now, last time round. This is a good battle. Will Brown is also on the charge. He's had to come from further back on the grid this, this race. Of course, in qualifying, he missed out. He had a problem in qualifying. So that's put him further back than he would have liked, but he's been really quick coming through the traffic. Vernon was uh, on the podium for the first time at Sandown. Coolly denied a race win at Townsville after getting turned around. There's the lead pack. Let's see, this time by Randall is answering the call. He sets the fastest lap of the race there. And this time he's half a second quicker than Lloyd. So they're just swapping that fastest lap around and the gap goes back out to two seconds. So you're right, Cam Randall, just taking it easy there for a few laps and then really stepped it up. 117.2 now. And that is a new lap record as Will Brown moves under brakes past Jimmy Vernon. Nice, nice work from the cars. Glorotrine contact at the exit. It was not needed, and Vernon's left front wing is damaged. That was a big contact, and that's going to be, well, I would say that race control will be monitoring that. That could be a mechanical flag with that amount of wing being pushed up. Could easily fly off. He won't be able to drive it, though. This will cost him the podium. He's still on for the podium as it stands by two points from Lewis Leeds, but he will be vulnerable at the end of this race. With and if that he damage. Has, and if he has to come in... Well, forget about it. Yeah, absolutely. That's a real shame. I'm not sure who was to blame there, to be honest. We'll have to have a look and see what exactly happened. Whether Will Brown used a little bit more road than he needed on the exit, or whether Jimmy Vernon just sort of turned back into the back wheel. So uh, really odd, because it was an aggressive move, but he was through cleanly at the apex. It was what happened on the exit of who didn't leave each other enough room. And uh, that's ruined Jimmy Vernon's race. That could have cost him the podium. We'll wait and see how they get on. Still some laps to go. Meanwhile, second and third back at it now. Oh, that was close. So Leeds has caught Lloyd again. This is an odd battle, this one. It keeps moving back and forward. Lloyd goes to the leader, then back to third. Here it is. So right. inside front lock meant that he understeered out a little bit. Oh, I think, I think he thought he was clear. Yeah, I think he did, and he just turned back a bit early. Watch on the exit. There it is there. I don't think Will Brown had a look and went, oh, whoops. I'm not sure that Will Brown meant to squeeze him towards the wall. I think Jimmy just wanted to tuck back under and just turned back a little early. So it's just a really innocent, small mistake. And Lewis Leeds, as we've seen all year, some great vision from him, just really ragging that car at the moment. He's doing everything he can to catch Lloyd and try, try and get himself up on the podium for the round. Another foot, and that car is missing wheels. That is why this track is so difficult. The commitment from a 15-year-old on these streets, impressive to see. But still no change for position. And Vernon has now fallen back as well, behind Goddard and Hayek. So that puts Leeds on the podium now. So as they stand on the track, as they'll stand on the podium, courtesy of that moment for Vernon. What a shame. But it's moved Will Brown into the overall for the Burson's Rookie Award. So he's two points ahead of Harry Hayek. So uh, the yellow number plate on the side of the wings. And Vernon's in the pit. So a real shame ah. for Jimmy Vernon. Tool Force support this year. Strong supporters of his racing career. And uh, that's a real shame. So Leeds is now on the podium, but can he, can he grab second spot for this race? It's just, it's amazing how oh. Jordan Lloyd just seems to find that speed when he needs to. The AGI team working on uh, changing that whole front wing assembly. There goes the spare, but uh, that's the end of the race for Jimmy Vernon. So the question here is, can Leeds get this gap back as we watch the AGI sport guys go to work. Not quite as quick as a Formula One front <laughs> wing change. There's a couple of screws to do up, which you can see they were doing that with the drill. So it's probably a, a minute, a minute or so in a panic to replace that. But uh, he now goes down a lap. 
Adam Gotch and the boys working on that car down there as it now makes its way out of the pit. So nice work to get Jimmy back into the race, but it has cost him. Here we go. We've got McGregor with the uh, wonky mirrors about to get some hang time here, I reckon. Oh, yes. How good's that? <laughs> Reminds me of a jet ski going <laughs> off a wave, and you'll see the oh. floor. Oh, and look at the movement in the belt. Jordan McGregor making his debut in F4 this weekend. So you can't say that he's not having a go. Trying. So is Lewis Leeds. Last few laps on the streets of Surface Paradise. Can Leeds get that one more spot? It would not be any difference for the round. He's already on the podium. But it would be a huge help to his teammates, Championship Chase, who's leading the race right now. This is impressive. You've got to consider that Jordan Lloyd is the championship leader and has been overseas, done a little bit of US Formula Ford. He was runner-up in the Australian Formula Ford Championship. So he's got four years of experience and age on Lewis Leeds. So it's a pretty handy effort for young Lewis Leeds. And great experience to follow someone like this and chase someone like Jordan Lloyd down. How good is Lewis Leeds going to be when he turns 19? When, when he gets to Lloyd's age, he is going to be a star. His father's actually uh, involved with the merchandise for Red Bull and Red Bull Formula One. So his father's actually at the Texan Grand Prix at the moment, Dean Lead. So no doubt on social media channels, probably up watching. So he travels a lot. He was at the Singapore Grand Prix. So he does actually miss a fair bit of Lewis's racing. But uh, he's got other family members here cheering him on this weekend. Great battle, this one. They might not be swapping positions, but it's one of those time battles where you look at it on the lap chart like that, and it's just so even. Look at Randall. He's really lifted. He's 17-2, three laps in a row, and he's now out to oh. just over three seconds. As Jordan Lloyd oh. is clearly pushing hard himself to stay ahead of Lewis. His head moving around in the seat there. Wow. Getting both sides of the headrest in that car. Is he going to hang on to second position? They are very close this time out of the Castrol Air champion. And there'll be two laps to go this time by. Randall looks good for the win, but who will finish second? Needs to get a good exit through this first chicane complex to be able to get the job done. Under brakes down at turn four. But in a straight line, he just doesn't seem to make up much of a, a gap, does he? That thing of Lloyd's is very nice in a straight line, oh. maybe. Just wonder if he's got a bit more rear wing wound on because that thing of Lloyd's is quicker in a straight line, but not so much around the corners, which would suggest that maybe he's got a little bit more rear wing. You can see they're pretty flat as it is. The more you wind up, the more drag you get in a straight line. See, look, he's driving away from him in a straight line. Yeah, so I think the bullet. Lewis was certainly in really deep under brakes, so whether that just... Gosh, oh. he's being aggressive. This is the time to have a look up the inside. It's going to be a big lunge if he can do it. Oh, Lloyd covers. He put his car exactly where he needed to. Great battle, this one. Leeds on the attack. That's not the spot. So he just pulls back in. He's got so much speed. Just can't seem to find the way through. This will test him. So he needs to break earlier here, not go in too deep. Break early and get a good exit. Oh, that's close. And if anything, that's too close. See how he's been able to get away on the exit. So what he needs to do is not break too late. He needs to concentrate on exit speed, not entry speed because that's where he's going to set up a pass. He's got two more opportunities, really. He's got one into turn four and one off the beach. I think he's too far back here. So he needs to focus on what he can do at the back straightaway after that beach chicane. Randall looking very nice. Leeds laying it all on the line to try and help his teammate out. He thought about the move at turn four, and Lloyd didn't even need to cover him. It's at the exit of the next chicane. Oh, he just was a little bit late. He might have just got the soft cut on the rev limiter there. So just that one gear change could be half a tenth. But this is where it's at. It's all about exit speed off the beach chicane. These onboards showing us how intense this battle is. Oh, oh no, he no. makes the shortcut. And he won't, be able to, he won't be able to make a pass stick now. There's no way they'd let it happen. He knows. And he aborts the mission. Lloyd has probably done enough to hang on here. Oh, frustrating. All that speed, but it'll be for naught. Great job from Jordan Lloyd to weather the storm. Meanwhile, around the corner, we see this guy. Three from three is going to be his first clean sweep, and it answers the clean sweep that we saw for Jordan Lloyd at Sandown. Meanwhile, Leeds has got a great exit in the background. 
The race is on for second in the background while Randall's going to get the win. Who's going to get it? Leeds has got him. He's got his nose in front. How did he do that? He got it. How did he get there? Leeds for second. Whoa. Oh, and a fist pump. What a move on the last corner. Great drive. We just saw the end. Maybe he dived in on the inside. I'm not sure he how went, he pulled that off. He went around him. I swear he went around him. Either way, he was on the outside at the exit. Here we go. He might have missed a gear or something on the exit. There was some sort of issue there, I think, for Jordan Lloyd. Didn't and he went all the way maybe. around. Yeah. Wow. He's got his fist up a bit early, but you're at the wrong line. The finish line's up there, Lewis. But a great move. He doesn't care. He's stoked. Wow, what a finish. He got him right at the end. He just never gave up. Even after we thought it was completely done and dusted, he snuck by and gets him by a couple of tenths. That was fantastic. Randall gets the win. He gets three from three, and Leeds takes a few more precious points away from Jordan Lloyd. Lloyd's still a comfortable championship leader heading into the uh, second last round, I should say, at Phillip Island, but that was very entertaining. Great racing.